So here we are at the Paul Meadow bus station. I've got my colleague and good friend Richard Parker with me uh, today. And today we're talking about buses. And in particular, changes that we're hoping to bring in uh, around bus franchising, Richard. No, thank you. Thank you, George. And it's great to be here in Coventry today uh, talking about buses and the improvements we plan to make to our network. So currently, the private operator gets a very significant subsidy every year, um, but we have little uh, ability to frame the bus network we want, uh, to set fares or influence the routes that uh, are being delivered. Uh, so we've got the approval at the board to start the process uh, of moving towards a franchise system. Uh, and under a franchise system, we will get the opportunity, working with our communities across the West Midlands, to design the bus network that works for people across the region, that helps people get to the shops, to the doctors, to college, and get to jobs in a way they can't uh, do today. So it's the first important step uh, to do exactly what they've done in Manchester. And I'm hoping, once we've been through this approval process, people across the West Midlands that use the buses every day will see a big difference in the services they get. We'll be taking cars off the roads, improving the environment and helping people to connect to places they can't get to uh, today. Well, I think it's true to say this isn't going to happen overnight. No. I think it's true to say that we have a consultation process which will commence later this year. And we'll be looking for as many members of the public to get involved in that because it is your bus service, it's our bus service. And as you've said, Richard, the objective is to get more people onto the buses using public transport as opposed to using their own cars.